So I'm going to do a quickie video about the best rotaries for color packing and as you guys, if anybody's watched any of my other videos, you know about stroke links, um, you know, anything under 3.5 millimeter is best for lining, 3.5 millimeter, probably best for gray washing, at least I personally use like anything with a 3.5 millimeter for either a lining or a gray washing. Um, so I was just going to talk about color packing rotaries and why they are the best. Um, of course, you know, anybody has seen my last couple of videos about um, what I consider the best rotary machines out there are these little brass ones. Um, the thing about these, for one, they are fully adjustable and these little, ah, um, these little kind of screws. I don't know what you would call them, I guess screws underneath these springs here. So they have these two little springs on the bottom basically and they act as front and back springs like you would have on a coil machine. And there's these little screws right here. Um, so you can adjust these, these are fully adjustable. Um, and again, it has a regular armature, armature bar and with the armature bar is moving back and forth these two little springs underneath act like springs, like a front and back spring on a um, coil machine. Those both have them. There's two different models there. Um, and also I have, of course, this is my modified Diablo hybrid. And you'll notice, like with this particular machine, it has a spring on it. Um, even though these do have one bar that hooks from the bearing onto the armature bar, these springs do get up a little bit of give, and if you know anything about coil machines and why they make such good color packers, is because when these springs give a little bit, um, it actually gives a little tiny little bit more hang time in the skin to allow a little bit more pigment saturation. So of course this one's modified, like when, when this was stock it was a 3.5 millimeter and um, I put a different uh, bearing and um, bearing bar I guess you would call it on it. So right now this is a 4.5 millimeter, like I use this for some serious, serious color packing. I got this little spring. Um, this particular machine I used for the liner with um, the Diablo and that's one of those um, new platinum rubber bands I was talking about. The one of those is about the same as uh, two number 12s. Anyway, this particular machine, I know Amazon sells some of these style machines. Um, this is a Duan Shark. For some reason, Duan stopped making these. Um, I got this in like 2015, and this is a 3.5 millimeter, which I used for the liner with my Diablo. And I will tell you, because of that little bit of that little spring on the back, and again, that armature bar. Um, just that little bit of give that they do have, like again, allows um, for a little bit more hang time in the skin um, as opposed to like any other kind of style rotary. So anything with like a spring on it, like similar to a coil machine, um, generally make good color packers. Um, like that's a good 3.5 millimeters right there you can see. I will say one thing about pens and direct drives, there's literally no give in those at all, so, which is another reason why I pretty much typically only use them for lining and gray washing, no matter how big of a stroke length you can get out of them. Um, but these are pretty nice, like I say, I know Amazon sells some this style. Um, like a sunskin, I think one's called, and they have a couple different ones anyway, but I don't know, I don't per personally have one of those. Again, this is a Duan Shark, I think this was like, I don't know, 120 bucks back in 2015 when I got it, and I've been running it right along, right along with that Diablo ever since then. Um, but yeah, again, that spring and that little bit of hang time allows for a little bit more pigment to go into the skin, which is why I generally, like, these are the only rotaries that I personally have out of my whole collection that I use for color packing. Um, and, you know, on all my coil machines, I generally use for color work all the time. But if I was out there, if you guys are out there, you know, kind of toying with rotaries, don't always depend on the stroke length or necessarily if they hit, like these are really anything with like a spring um, or generally the softest hitting rotary is like the hit as they call it is generally like when you're adjusting the hit you're basically adjusting the stroke length um, but as far as actually how hard or soft they hit the skin anything with like a spring to take a little bit to give a little bit of give in them um, is definitely where you would want to go, you know, for you for doing any kind of like serious color work. You know, I've seen some people, you know, if you use like 
really tight needle groupings like round shaders um, with rotaries. You can definitely, like round shaders are better for um, color work in general, but I think because there's so many needles in a, such a condensed area, um, but the only thing is it's hard to get sizes of them over like 15s, and a 15 round is probably about equivalent to like an 11 mag. So, you know, I mean, you're definitely getting up there and you can do some pretty good, you know, fairly decent sized pieces with it. Um, but if I were like to do I use any kind of rotary besides these for any kind of color work, I would definitely use like, you know, like if I were to use my pen and I've only done a couple small color pieces with it with like, you know, a nine round shader or something like that. Um, but I generally stay away from pens or any kind of direct drives for uh, color work. Again, these brass ones, awesome, awesome color packers, and they do act and feel a lot like, um, you know, coil machines. Um, and these are, like, I mean, for the price of these, and I've had these, like, you know, a couple of years now, and they, they're still, like, noiseless, and I actually liked a little bit of weight. Um, another thing, too, with, like, your grommets or... Um, uh, armature bar nipples like I don't really generally use grommets I use armature bar nipples you can get softer hard ones so it'll actually affect how um, so like on my usually on all my shaders I'll use like a softer rubber one and then like the liners like these are these Chinese like plastic ones that are really hard hard plastic um, I will say you won't like sh I, I've never personally shredded an armature bar nipple like you obviously I've thought, heard about people shredding armature bar nipples either they're really cheap or you're just running your machines way too fast to do anything like that I've never shredded an armature bar nipple but if you do have a problem with any of that like these um, hard plastic Chinese ones are usually pretty good um, but again that'll um, give you like a harder hit so I put it on this because it's got a 3.5 millimeter stroke length. So it would just kind of tighten that stroke length up just a little bit as far as like the hitting it goes. Um, you know, and on all my shaders, I generally use like a softer rubber one. Um, so, you know, again, just a couple little things to keep in mind. You know, a little, you can get harder, softer armature bar nipples or grommets from most, um, you know, respectable tattoo companies. We'll sell you, like, a different, you know, different ones. Um, so, you know, and they do make a little bit of a difference. Like, I, I would never use, like, these hard plastic ones on, like, a direct drive or anything like that because, I mean, you would be hitting, like, a brick. And on direct drives, they're in and out so fast. Like, it doesn't really matter, even though they have them, that they usually, if they're adjustable, they usually adjust up to 4.5 millimeters. I mean, you can crank it all the way up to that 4.5 millimeters. And because they're in and out so fast and have absolutely no give at all to them, you know, they're generally better, um, you know, gray washers or liners. But, like, I see anything with, like, a spring, just like a coil machine, um, you know, these generally, and they do have a little bit of give, even though this is just one solid piece up here, but, um, you know, these do actually work a little bit better for color packing. Again, those are out of my whole rotary collection. These are the only four that I generally use for color work all the time. Um, you know, I've never really actually read any of the reviews, not that I pay any attention to the reviews except for entertainment on Amazon, but I know you can buy these particular um, machines, and I think Sunskin is one of the companies that make them. Um, this is one of the ones that I actually do run on 7 volt. I run pretty much right on 7 volts all the time. Anything with the springs usually run a little bit higher voltage than the ones without. Except for the brass ones, I usually run those on about 5 all the time. But anyway, um, you know, I don't know if I were out there and I was going to try to do some color work and you didn't really have a lot of money to spend on a rotary. Um, if you're one of those Amazon people, you know, maybe check out one of these somewhere. I can't imagine there'd be too much difference. And again, same thing, a little bit of oil on all the bearings, you know what I mean? But the springs definitely make a huge difference in your color work. So, um, I don't know, maybe I'll buy a, a few one of these one day and see how they work. But, uh, again, this is clip cord only or else I have an art studio in it. Um, only two in there.
things that were on the system at the time. Not the Julian Shar. And I'm pretty sure that Julian Shar doesn't make these anymore. I've got this particular one from Unimax. www.unimaxshop.com, which is one of the best tattoo suppliers out there. And you can make order right online. They have all super awesome professional equipment. And right now, I was actually surprised Unimax even started getting into rotaries. I think because they're the hot thing. They kind of jumped on board with them. But you can buy some really nice drill machines from there for cheap. They're on sale, but I paid like, you know, back in the 1990s, I paid like close to $200 for a couple of the coil machines that are on sale right now for like 50, 60 bucks, and they're awesome coil machines. Check out my other video about that. But anyway, just in, like I said, if you guys are out there into rotaries and you want some good color patches, two things to look for, stuff with springs, Again, these brass ones, and these are fully adjustable just by turning this. This particular one, which is a DC connection. Again, I never won't run one machine, um, except my any of my cartridge machines. I won't run one for a whole tattoo. So even though these are both fully adjustable, this one adjusts up to 3.9 millimeters. Um, so I use this as a liner with that other one that adjusts up to 4.2. Because I don't know, whatever, but even though I could pretty much use either to it, um, or yeah, good stuff. Um, I love those brass ones. I mean, honestly, I would have a, they gave me a whole different perspective on rotaries in general. Like, I was never a big fan until I discovered those brass ones. But anyway, guys, as always, thinking I'm off for the night. Just say, yeah.